Good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here, thanks for being here. The support as always is much appreciated. Knock up like button, subscribe and share. We are talking a little bit about the Jamaica Reggae Girls and their upcoming fixture versus Paraguay that is scheduled to get underway at 8 p.m. Right, so very soon from now, this match is scheduled to get underway. For starters, um, the JFF is saying the last thing that I saw from them as it pertains to a broadcaster is that we have not confirmed any broadcasters yet. So up to now, I still don't know, you know, where we'll be able to see this match on television for those who are not in Montego Bay. Um, by the way, the match is being played here. It's a two-match series kickstarting today and uh, down at Capturing All Down in Montego Bay. So, you know, I checked Flow, I checked TVJ Sports Network, the usual suspects. I haven't seen anything as yet, so hopefully we do get a chance to watch this match, even if not live, at the very least delayed, you know, to see what the regular girls are up to for those of us who unfortunately could not make it to my bay. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see this match live. I would not be surprised if we don't see this match live. And if we do see it, we see it delayed. But at the very least, at the very least, we want to see it. Um, the last time the regular girls were in action was against South Korea. Me personally, I did not like what I saw on that particular trip. Only one of the games was aired on television. If I'm not mistaken, the second game was played behind closed doors. But boy, oh boy, I never really liked what I saw in that first game against South Korea. I don't know if you guys agree. And, you know, that's the thing for me. The performance definitely needs to improve. For sure, we need to see an identity. How does this reggae girls team play? Do you guys know? Because me personally, I'm still scratching my head a bit. I, I don't really know. The, 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 I don't have an idea as to how this, this team plays. It, it, it seemed to me the art is appearing more and more to me to be a kind of kick and run kind of football, right? It, it seems to seriously be replicating what we saw in the World Cup qualifiers with the men under a certain head coach. And that's very disappointing to me because these regular girls are quality. Right, so we need to we need to see some sort of a system, some sort of a plan, some sort of a structure, some sort of a a, a structure on both sides of the ball, not only the defensive side of the ball, but are of the game, but also going forward in our fence. Right again, South Korea, this team from an attacking perspective in attacking transition looked clueless, which is very very disappointing for me. Or when I watch that game, so hopefully, hopefully we see a much better, much improved performance this time around. Um, currently, Paraguay is ranked 51st. Jamaica is ranked 53rd. By the way, this on your screen right here is the Paraguay squad for this particular encounter. And we're going to touch on that a little bit more. But for starters, you know, just gave you guys the world ranking. Interestingly enough, Paraguay did not qualify for the last World Cup. We did. However, we have already qualified for this World Cup and Paraguay still has a chance to qualify for this upcoming World Cup as well if they win Group C. And if they win Group C of the qualifiers, right, the, the, the playoffs, they will come into our group with Brazil and uh, what, France playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, Brazil and France. Are, yeah, man. So... You know, they will join us um, in Group F. There you go, Brazil and France, yeah. So Paraguay could very well be a team that we face in the in next year's World Cup, which would be, be very interesting, right? With That would be, you know, it, it would be good to see the girls put up a good performance against a team who they might play in the upcoming World Cup. And I think there's a huge likelihood they will play Paraguay because... In that group C also features Papua New Guinea and Chinese Taipei and Panama as well. You know, I mean, the ball, the ball is round, but, you know, there is a possibility we might face off with Paraguay. And if indeed that does materialize, we would have won 
certainly, as, I mean, we as fans would want to see the girls put up a good performance against them tonight and the other, the second game as well. And also, just from a mental standpoint, from a mind game, psychological standpoint, it would be good for the girls to, you know, get one up or even two up, you know, on the Paraguay girls going into the World Cup. Um, the last time we played Paraguay, by the way, and you guys see the, the before we get to that, you see the Paraguay squad on your, your, your screen, a lot of them play at a credible level. You know, most of the players that you see playing in, you know, Europe on this, like, for instance, Spain and also Brazil, most of these players are featuring for the first tier, right? So it's a it's a credible Paraguay squad, right? It's, it's a credible Paraguay squad for sure. Some may say our team on paper is better than this Paraguay squad, you know, and, and you know, on paper from a, from that standpoint, I'm probably inclined to agree. We are ranked higher, you know. So this is the Paraguay team on your, on your screen. Decent squad, but I think we're better. I think we're better. I think we have more quality, you know, more quality playing at a higher level as well. Um, interesting to note, the last time we played Paraguay, we got beaten 3-1. I must say, though, our team has matured a lot since then. That's for sure, right? Our girls are playing at a higher level, a lot higher level, you know, now than then, right? Or have matured into better players, much better players now than then in 2019 at the Panam Games, right? But we still have to, to, to look at the history. This is the starting lineup on your screen that would have played that particular game, right? And uh, this is uh, the substitutes that would have featured in that 3-1 defeat to Paraguay at the 2019 Panam Games. Um, nine of the starters, let me go back to the starters, nine of the starters on your screen for Panama are in this current Panama squad that you saw me had up on the screen earlier. So nine of the starters on your left of this um, picture on your screen, nine of those players on the left are currently in this Paraguay squad, right? Nine of them. One of the substitutes that you see on the left of your screen as well, one of them has featured in this squad. So 10 of the players, you know, 10 of the players from that 3-1 defeat to, um, to Paraguay, 10 of those Paraguay players are back. Nine of the starters are back. So I think that's important to note. This is the, the, the games, the last five games for Paraguay. One victory over Ecuador, a 2-1 victory, a 2-0 loss to Brazil, no shame in that. A 3-1 loss to Argentina. Argentina not so much big in women's football. Colombia, a 1-0 loss. So, all right, a 2-0 loss to Brazil. A 3-1 loss to Argentina. 1-0 loss to Colombia. And a 4-0 loss to Colombia. So that's their record over the last five games. Not the best record, to be fair. They don't come into this game with a ton, with a certainly not in great form certainly from a result standpoint. Our record of the last five games, the 5-0 five, five thumping from the US, the 4-0 victory over Haiti. So one loss, one victory for us, the 3-0 loss to Canada, then the 1-0 victory over Costa Rica, then the 1-0 loss to Korea Republic. Um, there were two Korean games. The, the second Korean game, probably isn't here because it was an unofficial kind of game. As I said, if memory serves right, it was played behind closed doors. Don't quote me on this. If memory serves right, we'll, we definitely lost that game. And if memory serves me right, we lost it 2-0. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section, right? But our record coming into this game, you know, is slightly better, a little ways better than our Paraguay counterparts. So, you know, 
that's the record of 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 the two teams so as i said i'm expecting the reggae girls to do well in this game certainly better than what they did against south korea the last time out we are at home this is our home we are at home we are at home right we are playing paraguay in our backyards so i'm expecting to see a good performance from the girls result doesn't even i shouldn't say result doesn't matter yes i want the girls to win both fixtures but but my whole thing is the performance especially the attacking side of things right i'm not the biggest fan of this current coach lauren donaldson right scraped his way out of the world cup qualifiers fair play to him but i think he, he has a lot to prove especially from an, an attacking standpoint the team kind of looks a little bit clueless to me in attacking transitions so things definitely have to improve where that is concerned look with the greatest of respect to lauren donaldson as i as i've said previously i don't think he's a bad coach but i don't think he's a good coach either i do think that he is a relic of the past right and i think we need a coach for these girls with more tactical knows hopefully lauren donaldson can tactical knows hopefully lauren donaldson can prove us or prove me wrong in these two upcoming friendlies we we'll wish the reggae girls are the best they certainly have the talent and paper to beat this paraguay team we are hoping that they do that guys knock up like button subscribe and share take care guys stay safe and until next time